story nineteen of uncle wiggily's travels this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Greg Giordano. Uncle Wiggily's Travels by Howard Roger Garris. Story 19 Uncle Wiggily and the Phoebe Birds. Well, I don't seem to be finding my fortune very fast, said Uncle Wiggily to himself the next day as he traveled on after the lightning bugs had shown him the way out of the woods here i've been tramping around the country for a considerable while and all i found was one cent and that belonged to the chipmunk i wish i could find a little money then i would buy some peanuts and sell them and make more money and pretty soon i would be rich and i could go back home and see sammy and susie littletail so he walked along looking very carefully on the ground for money all he found for some time were only old acorns and as he couldn't eat them they were of no use to him if johnny or billy bushytail were here now i would give them some he said but the squirrels were far away frisking about in the tops now as true as i'm telling you a moment after that just as uncle wiggily was going past a big stone he saw something bright and shining in the leaves oh good luck he cried i found ten cents and that will buy two bags of peanuts now i'll get rich so he picked up the shining thing and oh how disappointed he was for it was only a round piece of tin such as they make penny whistles of oh dear cried uncle wiggily fooled again well all i can do is to keep on he went on a little farther until he came to a place where there were a whole lot of prickly briar bushes with red berries growing on them oh ho exclaimed the rabbit some of those berries will do for my dinner as i'm getting hungry i'll pick a few he was just going to pick some of the berries when he happened to notice a big red thing like a red flannel bag standing wide open near a hole in the bushes and in front of the red place was a sign which said come in one and all everybody welcome it looks very nice in there thought the rabbit perhaps it is the opening of a circus tent i'm going in for i haven't seen a show in some time and maybe my friend the elephant will be in there uncle wiggily was just going to hop into the funny red opening that had the sign on it when a little ant came crawling along carrying a small loaf of bread hello uncle wiggily said the ant where are you going i am going inside this red circus tent said the rabbit won't you come in with me i'll buy you a ticket oh never go in there don't you do it cried the ant and she got so excited that she nearly dropped her loaf of bread that is not a circus tent it is only the skillery scalery tailery alligator and he has opened his mouth wide hoping someone will come in so he can have a meal don't go in i won't said uncle wiggily quickly as he hopped away and then he took up a stone and tossed it into the red mouth of the scalery tailery whalery alligator the alligator shut his jaws very quickly thinking he had something good to eat but he only bit on the stone and he was so angry that he lashed out with his tail and nearly knocked over a hickory nut tree and then the ant crawled home and uncle wiggily hopped on out of danger and the alligator opened his mouth again hoping some foolish animal would walk into the trap he had all ready for them well in a little while after that as the old gentleman rabbit was going along under the big tree all of a sudden he heard a voice calling rather sadly and sweetly phoebe phoebe my goodness that must be some little lost girl named phoebe and her sister is calling for her he thought i wonder if i could help find her for you know uncle wiggily was just as kind as he could be and always wanting to help someone then he heard the voice again phoebe phoebe where are you asked the rabbit i'll help you hunt for your sister phoebe where are you little girl but the voice only called again phoebe phoebe 
i guess she can't hear me said the rabbit i'll shout more loudly so he cried out at the top of his voice i'll help you find phoebe tell me where you are and we'll go off together to hunt for her but this time the calling voice was farther off though still the rabbit could hear it saying phoebe phoebe my goodness me sakes alive and a bottle of stove polish i can't make this out said uncle wiggily that little girl is so worried about her lost sister that she doesn't pay any attention to me but i'll help her just the same so he hopped on toward where he heard the voice calling and pretty soon believe me he heard two voices one cried out phoebe phoebe and the other one called just the same only a little more slowly like this phoebe phoebe now there are two of her sisters calling for the lost one said the rabbit they must be very much worried about phoebe perhaps a bear has eaten her that would be dreadful i must help them so he hopped on through the woods faster than ever crying out i'm coming i'm coming old uncle wiggily is going to help you find phoebe and then would you believe me uncle wiggily heard seven voices all calling at once phoebe 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 oh now the whole family is after that lost child said the rabbit i had better go for a policeman and then he happened to look up and he saw a whole lot of little birds sitting on a tree and each one was calling phoebe just like that really i'm not feeling a bit foolish honestly oh my how surprised i am cried the rabbit was that you birds calling for the little lost girl it was said the largest bird but there isn't any lost girl you see we are phoebe birds and that is the way we always sing we always say phoebe phoebe over and over again we didn't mean to fool you it's only our way of calling oh that's all right said the rabbit i don't mind it was good exercise for me to run after you well those birds liked uncle wiggily so much that they sang their prettiest for him and asked him to stay for dinner which he did and he had chocolate cake with candied carrots on top and that's all to this story if you please but in case a red bird brings me some green flower seeds to plant in my garden so i can grow some lollipops i'll tell you next about uncle wiggily and the milkman end of story nineteen recording by greg giordano newport ritchie florida